Hey guys, how's it going? I hope everybody's doing very well. Uh, these days I didn't record because I was so tired. I wasn't that motivated to show you guys around, but I've been traveling around all the Balkans and uh, yesterday I arrived in Moldova and this morning I just took a van in Moldova downtown. Right now I am in Transnistria in Tereshpol and uh, this is a very nice place it's very beautiful it's very different I met a guide here his name is Anton I will give his his contact information here guys if you guys come here to Transnistria to Tereshpol I highly recommend you to contact Anton because he's very nice he has a lot of experiences and references in TripAdvisor he just showed me a little around here the city actually we didn't have so much time together because he needed to work but it was nice it was super nice meeting him um, and uh, I have about two hours right now in in Tiraspol, the capital of Transnistria this is a very small capital a very small um, city when compared to Sao Paulo for example so I will be showing you guys a little around here so this is a park we have here let's see what else we can see So Transnistria is an unrecognized country. Only three republics recognize Transnistria, which are South Odessa and um, more two other countries that I can remember, but they're, they're all republics. They are all unrecognized republics. Uh, I think they are in, in Georgia, if I'm not in, uh, wrong. I will show you guys their flags of these countries that recognize Transnistria. It's interesting to be here because this is a Moldovan region um, and they recognized themselves some years ago. So this is very nice. We have uh, some places for kids to play around. A kingdom garden here, some some park, something like that. Really cool. And today is a very beautiful day. It's Saturday and the temperature is perfect. So here we can see the flag of the three republics, unrecognized republics that recognized Transnistria, South Odessa, and um, I forgot the name of the others. Uh, anyways, I write here. And also they use the flag of Russia because Russia helped them during the war in the past. Thank you. 
Something I really like about the former Soviet countries is that their cities were so well planned in terms of space because the sidewalks, they're very big. There's so much space to walk around. The avenues, they're also large. So I really like it in comparison to some Latin American cities where we almost don't have sidewalks. We sometimes don't even have proper avenues. So here is great. It's really nice. Also, they have a lot of flowers, plants. It's clean, it's safe. So yeah, it's cool. It's really nice. We have a nice, beautiful park here. It's very peaceful. We have Wi-Fi here, Wi-Fi sign here. I don't know if it's working, but it's nice. Check it out. Let's see if it really has Wi-Fi here. So here they have their all currency, which is the ru ruba, right? like rubble. And also the majority of the population speaks Russian. Um, probably they speak Romanian as well. I didn't ask my friend if he knows Romanian. This is the Dniester River and this river goes all the way to the Black Sea. We have a tank here, we have a church right here, we have a flame there in front of us, so it's like a memorial. Something like that. And this is a nice thing. Let's check it out. Let's see. It's nice. It's really nice.
it was closed. Here we have the government building. We have a statue of Lenin in front of us. The city has a lot of statues of Lenin. And a lot of people, all elders, adults, they miss the Soviet Union a lot. They miss the area, the era of Lenin. They I When I was with Anton in the car, Anton was driving to Bender City, which is the next city after Teraspol, the capital. He works there, he lives there in Bender. Um, and then on the way, he saw uh, an old man on the bus station. He just offered him a ride and he asked the, the man, um, how was your life during the Soviet Union? Do you miss it? And the man told him, yes, my life was so great. I miss it very much. Uh, so it's interesting to know the perception of um, elder people. Um, they say they lived better at those times. They didn't need so much money to buy things, etc. Life nowadays, at least what these men told us, life looks like harder. Well, uh, I'm here in front of the uh, Transnist Transnistrian government. I think you guys can see the Lenin statue behind me and hear the, this big building. There we have a Soviet bus. My friend told me that kind of bus was produced in Belarus. In the former Soviet Union, other republics helped each other. So some republics, they were focused in producing medical equipment. Others, other republics were focused in producing cars or buses and etc. So it was like a big family, everybody helping each other. And here we have the cinema of Transnistria. Terespol, the capital. The stray dog. This movie here looks nice. <laughs> yeah, it's really beautiful. All these fountains, the building, it's really nice. The Soviet bus. Oh, they have Let's here. Let's is like Uber. <laughs> Being Transnistria and unrecognized country, 
I thought it would be less developed, but they do have a lot of cafeterias, a lot of shops, and they look like great. Also, the city is very well taken care. It's very beautiful. There are flowers everywhere. It's clean. It's more beautiful than many Brazilian cities, actually. Uh, that's the beauty of traveling because I just can see the truth. A lot of people says, say, oh, it's dangerous to go to Transnistria, blah, 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 but it's not. It's super safe here. People seem nice. So guys, if you want to have uh, an, ex an experience at a Soviet restaurant, I recommend you guys to come here to this restaurant uh, they look like a museum inside it's really nice let's check it out they, are, they have the flag of Transnistria here they have a lot of symbols here. Lenin. And here are the tables. They're really nice. So I think it will be my dinner. And this is the the room that I I wanna eat here. <laughs> They even have a small car, baby car here. A lot of newspapers and uh, more paintings. Oh, I think, yeah, I don't know if they have things. Oh, they have. Hi. Привет. Um, let me see if you have Yeah, it sounds delicious. Wow, it's wonderful this place here. It's very local. Well, I ordered fish and I ordered, I think this is borscht, something like that. Ah, oh, wonderful. It's really delicious. I really loved Pridnestrovi or Transnistria, as we can say in English. Uh, I don't know what happens, but you know, these countries that almost nobody visits or countries where countries people talk badly or neg negatively, these are the countries I, I like. I really like it here. Um, I just spent maybe five hours here more or less and uh, it was so cool i met anton a local guide here i uh, you let his contact here guys in in case you come here to transnistria you can contact him he's a very nice person anton dengdeng marchenko he's awesome and um, he gave me all the tips to arrive here yesterday night through WhatsApp. The immigration process was easy, very smooth. And now I'm going back to Chisinau, uh, Kishinev, Kishinau. Um, it's about one hour and a half, more or less. The place to pick up the vans, it's from the train station. So before arriving to the train station, the van was already uh, on the way. The driver was driving very slowly. So I just asked him, hey, are you going to Kishinev, Kishinev? And he said, yeah. So I just aborted the, the van on the way. Now I'm inside the van going to going back to Moldova um, I just paid 75 leus which is the Moldavian currency in euros it's about almost four euros three euro three euros and 90 cents so it's a very cheap uh, trip and um, 
Yeah, guys. That's it. Going back to Kishinev, Moldova in the evening. I hope to enjoy more the city because today is the National Wines Day. So they are preparing a festival, a wine festival in the city. So it will be very nice. I want to record and show you guys what we what we we'll have there in the city. Also, tomorrow, tomorrow is Sunday, if I'm not wrong. Yes, tomorrow is Sunday. And I have until 6 p.m. in the city, more or less. So I have the whole day to walk through the city, to show you guys the city. And in the evening, I have a flight to Armenia, Yerevan, with Fly One, which is the Armenian airline. I still have more three countries to visit, Armenia, Georgia, and the last one, Azerbaijan. I will visit the capitals, so Baku, Azerbaijan, Tbilisi, Georgia, and uh, Yerevan, Armenia. So far, I'm enjoying a lot Moldova. The, the countries that are poor, the countries less visited, uh, I feel myself better in them. I don't know why, but yeah. That's how it is.